Hubba hubba hubba. Welcome, yeah. My name's Ricky Braha. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, hi. All right, so today's talk is really about, uh, you know, Los Angeles has been always called Secret LA, or Las Vegas has always been said, what happens here stays here kind of thing. And when you're talking about getting yourself where you don't have to demean yourself because you've raised self-efficacy due to what we know about cognitive science in the brain, surrounding yourself with influences, people, that in which when they enter your life, the subliminal, the subconscious, is immediately at the reactive mind. But it's settling into areas of the mirror neurons based on their mirror neurons. So they're automatically influencing you, and you're instantaneously, simultaneously, what have you, uh, influencing them likewise because of your mirror neurons. So even just putting it out there that you're even going to view a video on Social Alchemy Project Access Management with one of our guys or something like that. You're inviting already the neurons. The neurons are already headed your way, and so let's say everything happens. So that's basically your, your LA care, okay? You have to decide what kind of man you're supposed to be willing to be known as. This is about coming out of the closet, gentlemen. Okay, whether it's crystal meth or homosexuality or lying to your wives or being responsible as a straight man now of uh, having encouraged seven to twelve abortions of women that used to get pregnant. Okay, this is one of my clients, let's say. What does it mean to make a difference as a man once you've asked challenging questions to yourself of who am I? Who do I long to be and who do I lust for that has what I want so I can enter some type of Tyler Hamilton order support, customer service, nothing ventured, nothing gained, join Social Alchemy Project Access Management, the World Coalition. I'm yours truly, Tyler Lord of fucking Hamilton, and I'm in Ivory Tower doing research, and I'm glad you noticed in the expressions of sadness where I am my own isolationist or separatist in my own ways and I work very hard to overcome that and that is called alchemy. That's where you become the alchemist. You change one metal into another metal. Ideas that we have in our lives may deal with world, living world conferences, okay, with pastors and Christians, but they shame something maybe in your sacred male sexuality and you want more, so you want to look at our New World Christ Church uh, at Social Alchemy Project, Access Management, for your alchemy, for your change. <clears throat> now, people, you may not be wrong all the time, but you might have a sense about yourself that you're doubting yourself and you're ready for the sincerity because in the haves and have nots, perhaps you have more and now you have to feel it more in the challenging questions that you are about to ask yourself and know that you can set yourself up for an emotional psychiatric break. You have loved ones in your life. Differing can be between cheap and frugality, being frugal, and you know that, and maybe you're in your own purgatory because you've lied to the IRS. Maybe this is no different than love, though, making mistakes and spending more money, but not really having any respect, honesty, or understanding, or gratitude, but you feel that you have let yourself get away with shit. And a stiff dick has no conscience, as they say. 
So, if you're born noble, opposed to being born with sin, as the Christian Church teaches, if you're born with nobility, well, you're obviously if you were born and have problems with missing the mark, okay. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. So when the Word of God says things like it's easier for the needle to enter the eye of the camel, the eye of the, the camel entering the eye of the needle to pass his way in Jerusalem, then I mean it's it, it's harder. Basically, it's harder for a man to get into heaven. It's actually contrary. It's hard to get out of heaven because nothing separates you from the love of God. The Christian church in America and the Western white puritanical heretics, your pioneers, taught opposing view. So we have to forgive ourselves quickly as a nation, international identity, and be willing to have that political participation, become community organizers. We forgive so quickly because maybe another man is in a position of money and you never question the man who has money or shh, that's in human sex trafficking or human labor trafficking. Hasn't it been honest and respectful to you though when the universe keeps creating another day for you? Water, even though you had to pay for it. Maybe, maybe not. But only in yourself you can be centered already. You've been centered. You're just dealing with the details. The universe does, you'll find in Science of Mind, North Hollywood Church of Religious Science teaches us that the universe doesn't judge. It just balances out numbers, accounts, and energies. So you need to provide care and show time with people and be of service and care for people. It's not what they value of you. It is, yes, of course, but you can't force them to apologize after they have wronged you. So, in this self-centeredness and self-regard and good ego, bad ego, or like Anne Rand says, the social thinker, sociologist, there is a virtue of selfishness. And now we have Donald J. Trump and people say there's a good narcissism and a bad narcissism. So in Money Hard Ons and some of the theories I'm creating with using Christianity and my own religious abuse and my own domestic violence, that the silent horror of the heart is actually the healer, is actually the alchemy. This is what Social Alchemy Project Access Management is all about. It's about your own deflection and reflection, and it must carry itself. Whether you feel guilt or shame, you don't have to feel guilt or shame. All of the money that you spend on yourself is not going to throw you into hell and make you the Antichrist. People that might say yes is because maybe they've been jealous of people and they're lonely and they're envious. And what they want is they want connection with somebody. So, at Social Alchemy Project Access Management, it does work as an anti crime anti, pardon me, I have to put in dentures, I can barely even speak. <laughs> oh, oh. It works as an anti-corruption and human greed disabler. It works with our audience, which is lonely people. And you gain at least something by just looking for something, okay? If you can't see it, you can't have it, okay? If you can't desire, okay, and lust and yearn to want it with your ambition, whether it's corrupt or greedy, then somebody's not going to give it to you. So you could easily will money to yourself by saying people love to give me money, okay? It is a culture of getting what one has more of, okay? In the abundance culture, the me, 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 give 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 me, more, 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 more in the Memoir Society, a cheating culture of ongoing hate. You know all of the rhetoric. So at Social Action Project Access Management, we offer products and accessories that are merch, merchandise. We have books, we have jewelry, we have a museum, we have the theatrical. It's a universal, scholarly, motivational speaker that some people might see me as. But in an entitlement 
Kenti culture, okay? We set our goals out to show that whatever the long-term goal is that's going to be grand, we're going to make it happen faster, and we're going to get more of it when it's here, because we were a good Jesus by doing the Christian thing, by turning the other cheek, and then turning it again, you know, and then getting a bloody nose and two black eyes, and somebody sodomizing me up my ass and raping everything that's in my bank. Well, luckily... Yours truly, Tyler the fucking Hamilton, is a reverend, is a pastor, and I know something about ministry. Ministry means humanism, human kindness society. Whatever your movies, documentaries, podcasts, vlogs, uh, mechanics, architecture, meditation and television, one man showcases destinations. Being across the world, spiritual adventures, at Social Alchemy Project Access Management, you get introduced to the work of Tyler Lord Hamilton, yours truly. Also, Jeffrey Scott Newton and the legacy. <clears throat> so there's outreach to obtain a better portrait in your life, okay? Of the human subject, of people that you survey, okay? We also have... The Tyler Hamilton Foundation. Let me show it to you. Wait a moment. Ah! 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 Okay, so we have the Tyler Lord Hamilton Foundation, and this here. This here is a. Uh, research foundation working towards social justice and democracy promotion without force for gay, straight, and bisexual men. Okay, so also for merchandise, this is just to provide means to help other people by creating, uh, you know, pure. This this is this is just a, a project that we're doing. The mattress. Toppers. We're going to have things for the gay community, and then you open it up. The Gay Straight Alliance uh, type of men's research social science community. You open it up, and because the entertainment hospitality really is keeping things clean, clean to the extreme, when uh, someone would think before to clean, one has to make the place dirty. So. It's a double entendre. But the feathers and the satin ribbon and <laughs> things like that. Okay. So you'll also look at the modeling portrait supplementations as well. The, was it Regal? Let, let me show you a little bit more. Oh, this is the, um, this is basically the goal. The goal is Dr. Tyler Hamilton, PhD, American Research Social Scientist. Okay, this material here is Nambe. This is plastic. That's that's the image. Okay. <clears throat> So the modeling uh, is extensive because it's part of the bipolar and believing one is going to be rich and famous and the whole thing around uh, manic depression and high sexuality. So this is the Regal Drama Modeling Division that's going to be at Social Alchemy Project Access Management. We also offer, of course, the Tyler Hamilton University College of Social and Behavioral Sciences because as an author, I am a social scientist and a motivational accountability life coach, even with counseling alternatives. But this here are just some uh, just some pictures for modeling that has been produced, and it's somewhat an informal portfolio of Tyler Hamilton right now. But we have like just shock rock, you know, shock rock pictures, you know, like. 
to Shop Rock. So I want to thank you for talking to yourself about what you feel might be important to you in uh, photography or working on, you know, uh, how to, because this is the world of selfies, to genuinely um, market yourself because you're the best marker of yourself. So you were pre preserving the work and the legacy of Tyler and Hamilton while adhering to social programs, projects, and of course, public administration. And my education will be shared. I have a master's in public administration with the emphasis in government and policy. I have a sociology degree, bachelor's, as well as a bachelor's in criminal justice, summa cum laude 4.0. And I'm working on a PhD, a doctor of philosophy in general psychology with emphasis in cognition and raising self-efficacy of men to help end, as a public health issue, our disease issues that we're going to be coming up with more so than just HIV and STDs and what the PrEP drug has done as a curse where people aren't using contraception and they're increasing the land of gonorrhea which is Los Angeles. <laughs> As a side note of some of the cause behind social academy project access management and how this type of service to our civil society as a public interest issue prevailing to us about homelessness issues, what can we do in the collective consciousness and advanced community developmentalism, blah, 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 for social justice and democracy promotion, blah, 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 in the changing of a gay man raising confidence and being able to minister to the world through some of our global missionary work. Please enjoy Social Alchemy Project Access Management's website and blessings to you as you go through the iconic star image the dramatist persona that we're creating is Tyler Hamilton in our female illusionism even and woman impersonation and just kind of coming out of our closets and instead of having to be exposed but to reveal to heal Dr. Schumann.